you said? What was it like coming out the tunnel? Oh, man, it was cool, man. Excitement. Excitement everywhere. I didn't know what I was going to do, though, because they didn't tell me. They just said, stand on the wall. I was like, okay. They didn't tell me what they was doing. They called out names, and they was like, hey, stand on the wall. I was like, what we doing? And I see everybody jumping around. That's what's called a starting offense. And he said, Najee. I said, what am I doing? He just shook my hand. He said, it's good to see you, too. And he just called me out there. I was like, I just ran out there, man. It's cool. Can you take us through the, uh, the catch and run down the sideline? Yeah, um, so uh, I don't know what coverage they were in. I don't know. I think they were in man coverage, 22 man. And then, um, you know, we had, that was a big emphasize on this week. So, um, you know, make sure you win your one-on-ones down, down, um, down on top with the linebackers because that's the best way to answer that. So I was happy when he said that. I'm excited. So, um, you know, I had a one-on-one with a linebacker. Um, I just went – just went to the right and then um, got the ball. I was one on one with him. Um, I saw another guy behind him. I don't know if that was a DN, but I saw the DN drop back in coverage. So um, I knew I had the edge at that point. So I kind of stood on my feet to slow him down and uh, watch E Brown pick up the block in the back. And uh, that's what happened, really. On that drive, uh, you had that play, Pat caught the touchdown. <clears throat> y'all, y'all, y'all see Pat? Y'all see that? Did y'all interview him? Tackle. Is it too you see early that? to say you guys have something special with this rookie group? Man, we so with this rookie group, man, we get better every day. Um, you know, coming in, I feel like, you know, um a lot of us had a, a, a good opportunity to play as a as a rookie. So um, you know, I always I always I always say that man, like like, you know, this they would tell us too that, you know, this this rookie class, you know, because uh, we draft a lot of offensive players. I don't think they would really draft a lot of offensive players here, do they? Not really, huh? No? Yeah, I don't yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we did that. So, you know, um, you know, uh, to get better every day as a rookie, as, as rookies, you know, it, 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 re- it was really emphasized that a lot this year because a lot of us would play early. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad and happy to see Pat and KG and Dan all out there, you know, making plays and, and, and doing a good job. I can't be any more excited. And I was excited for Pat. Yeah, yeah, I interviewed him, right? What did you say to Pat after he has those, those touchdown all catches? All on his back. You ain't seen me? I was jumping all on his back. Man, I'm just excited for him, man, because he was scared as hell of the tunnel. Ask him that, because he got all mad at me. I was scared of the tunnel. He was scared of the tunnel. So, uh, yeah. He didn't know what you guys were supposed to do either, running out. He, mu- he knew better than me, but he was just scared. And I, I don't know what was going on. I was like, Pat, dude, calm down. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing, but you're making me feel like I'm, like I'm out of place right now, you know? So that was that. How did it feel with Ben under center, just kind of running the offense, getting, you know? Yeah, man, when Ben's in the game, it's a, it's a you know, you, you feel the presence of, uh, of, of how, how persistent we need to be with things, man. Um, he, he's, it's like that in practice, too, though. So, you know, having Ben back for the first couple drives, was, uh, was, it's always good to have him back in the mix. Um, you know, he's obviously the leader of this team. And, um, you know, really the big emphasis on this game was keeping him up and healthy, make sure he could take no hit, take no hits. So, uh, I mean, that was big for having him in there. You guys kept finding ways to extend drives, the third down wins, the third down wins. How did that feel to see him and it coming from different yeah. players each time? Yeah, man, it was a lot of it was a lot of plays, big plays from a lot of people. Um, you had Deontay with the big shot. You obviously had Pat making plays and a lot of other guys. Um, but man, you know that, that's just you know how how you guys can see us as a team really molding together and um, really trying to. Really making um, you know the most of our opportunities when we get them because there's a lot of players on the team so you know the ball's gonna get passed around a lot and when you have your opportunity to make the play man you got to make the play because you know it, it's gonna it's gonna do be, do good for the team and you know I mean it's a lot of the ball can't go to the same player a lot of times man so you know it's it's it's, it's good to be in that type of offense man I had the same thing back in college you know with a lot of players so uh, you know to see that again in the league you know, it's, it's good it's good. Yeah. You mentioned the the offense molding, but looking at the O-line specifically, how yeah. do you feel like that group is coming together? There's been a lot of influx, but it looks like all the projected starters are at least out there together. Yeah, so I think, I don't know, was this the first game without all the starters? Yeah, this is the first game where all the starters was there. Um, but yeah, you know, they're, they're all coming back off, off the little dings and injuries they got. And, you know, they're really working together, too. In practice, you see them talking a lot. And, you know, I guess they have a standard there. And, you know, they're 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 really bonding as a team. Um, I go over there every time after every drive to talk about them, to see what they see and coverages and blitzes to see if I need to stay in longer to pick up something to chip off a block or anything like that. 
Um, so, you know, as, as, as much as they're working together trying to get things right, I'm working with them too because, you know, I'm actually a, a, just as a, a lineman with them too. I'm picking up stuff. So, um, you know, if we all get on the same page, then we can help out Ben and then Ben can give it to the playmakers on the edge. So, you know, we're all doing a good job, man. We're all just working to get better every day. Uh, you guys, you guys, more, you guys have a lot of uh, three wide uh, and shotgun on third short. Do you mm -hmm. think that's going to continue or, or like get more into running in those situations? I mean, whatever the defense presents on third down looks, that's what we're going to capitalize on. So, I mean, going in this game, they were playing a lot of a lot of man. So, you know, that was emphasized a lot, like I said. So, you know, be, me being one-on-one -on -one with the linebackers, uh, was emphasized a lot, so I think that's that's why you've seen that today. But I mean, like whatever team we're playing against, you know, I don't expect us to doing the same thing. You know, we obviously gotta gotta fluctuate or whatever with the defenses presenting on third down. But you know, that's a, that's our job to go in film room and see uh, the team we're playing against and uh, and try to act and and put our team in the best possible position to to convert on third down. As you mentioned uh, keeping Ben upright. How do you yes. feel like your pass blocking has come along since you got here to, to where it is right now? Yeah, in the league, man, uh, it's, it's it's come a long way. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys be in a in a practice and we did the backs on backers backers uh, pass blocking. Um, I'm always the first one to go in there, man. I love I love I love a challenge, especially with our linebackers. We got a lot of good ones, so the best way to get a lot of reps and practice against these good guys that I'm going against is the best practice I could have so from when I'm in the game you know it wouldn't be nothing new to me so you know I think I improved a, a lot um you know a lot of a lot of I mean I don't know if teams are going to blitz against Ben but um you know if they do though I'm, I'm going to be ready uh, I think we always start our meeting we do always start our meeting with me and coach Falk always with all the pass protection so um anytime I see anything uh like the Lions did uh they, they blitzed a lot last week um, anytime that I see any looks, I will already know what's what's up, so I can pick it up. So I mean, I'm improving a lot, um, but you know, obviously you can get better pass blocking because that's I mean, you're gonna go up against these D linemen. That's a different ball game right there, my boy. So we'll see. Um, you know, I just always worked at it. Um, you know, practice and stuff like that. I got comfortable doing that. I'm um, in training camp and stuff like that. So um, you know, all the work was put in during training camp, and so I just went out there. And felt comfortable and, and played my game. Is it a back shoulder fade in the middle of the end zone? Usually that's a sideline. Um, I mean, it wasn't. I mean, that's where Ben put it. Um, I wouldn't say it was a back shoulder fade. It was just more of kind of a um, type of coverage they played and they brought I ran. Um, so he put it where it was needed to be and just made a play on it. Ben said sometimes he tries on purpose to be not quite as accurate to make you guys work harder. How much does that help then translating to a game setting where he is? maybe a little bit more pinpoint in his accuracy. Yeah, it helped a lot. I mean, the first time in OTAs when he came, um, he was throwing it like all over the place with me, and I was just very confused. I was like, am I doing something wrong? Am I doing like, that kind of stuff? And uh, like E and uh, Zach were like, dude, he does this to like see what your range is and all that kind of stuff. So it helped me a lot, um, just, you know, OTAs and training camp and stuff like that. I'm um, putting it where, you know, I, he sees where my, I can make adjustments and stuff like that. So um, it, it's awesome, and, um, you know, that kind of showed on the field today. The second one, how hard was that pass? How hard was it? Um, you know, it, it was definitely it was hard, but um, you know, like I said, I worked it all camp, and um, we worked that kind of route combination all camp. So, um, you know, obviously there were some ups and downs in camp with that route, um, but um, you know, it showed today with the preparations like that. After that second touchdown, that you got an innate knack to get your head around very quickly when you're coming out of your break. Is that something that's always been the skill that you've had, and how have you developed that on the NFL level so quickly? With yeah, you know, I've always been good at, you know, coming downhill um, when I could get out of my breaks and, um, you know, make contact with the quarterback. Um, um, but, you know, it, it's something that I've always worked at and, you know, this will kind of be that security blanket for the, the quarterback. And something I take pride in, you know, always kind of have my head around and, and making plays like that. Ben invoked the name Heath Miller talking about you. What does that mean to you and how often do you hear that? Um, you know, I mean, I hear it a lot. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, me and him have watched, you know, Heath Miller tape a little bit, just kind of the stuff that Heath has done. Um, and, and all that, but um, you know, obviously, I'm trying to make my own legacy here. Um, Heath is, is was an unbelievable tight end here. Um, it's gonna be hard to follow in his footsteps, but you know, I'm obviously gonna try and, and kind of emulate his game. I think we're very similar in, in our game style. You're getting a lot of cheers going off from your teammates. Marcus Allen specifically was really. What was he saying to you when you were coming up? Yeah, that's my Penn State brother, so we're always gonna stick together. <laughs> um, you know, it, 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 he's always gonna support me, and I'm always gonna support him. So. You know, he's just kind of, you know, telling me that, you know, keep keep doing what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, um, you know, the sport's always been there. Mason said that you don't act like a rookie, that really nothing about you is a rookie. Do you feel like 
that this has just been maybe a natural transition, or do you still very much feel like a rookie getting your feet wet in the NFL? <laughs> no, I, the first play last year, I mean, the first play of this preseason, I definitely feel like a rookie. Um, but, um, you know, there's, there's obviously adjustments and stuff that I have to make throughout my game, just kind of getting acclimated to the NFL um, kind of game. Um, but, you know, that's always been my, you know, kind of, I take pride in going into Penn State as a freshman. You know, they, they said the same thing. I didn't kind of act like a freshman. Um, just kind of my preparedness and just kind of handle myself on and off the field. Um, you know, just try to and, and do what I do. My parents have raised me um, unbelievable um, in that aspect, just kind of taking um, pride and, and being grateful for my position I'm in. So um, just kind of that's where I come from, and that's kind of how where, um, you know, my preparedness has been. Are there any passes in camp you felt like you dropped? You said what? Are there any passes in camp you felt like you dropped? I'm sure there's a couple, um, you know, off the top of my head, but because um, the other guys are saying no, <laughs> I, I remember there's one, there, there was one or two um, that you know I should have made a catch, but I didn't. Um, but I mean, I just try and whenever the ball comes my way, I have to make plays, and that's why they drafted me where they did, and I'm um, just continue to make plays. What, what is it about the red zone that kind of brings out the best in you? I like scoring touchdowns. I like <laughs> celebrating with the fans. I like celebrating with my teammates. Um, I just think you know there's so much detail down there. I'm such a detail-oriented guy. Um, that you know maybe some person that's you know great in the open field kind of lacks that detail down there because it this feels smaller. So um, you know kind of understand coverage more down there and kind of understand what I need to do to get open um, and score a touchdown. How did the blocking come along in this game? I think I improved a lot. Um, you know just kind of being more comfortable out there, knowing what the pace of the game is. And I think last week as the game went on, I think um, you can kind of tell my I became more comfortable and stuff like that. So. I think just starting this game off fast, my blocking, um, you know, obviously it's going to be a whole nother level um, when we get to the you know regular season. But um, I think I'm you know progressing in that aspect. Being right. detail Guys, two or, more, two being, more. Being detail oriented, like you just mentioned, is that something that's been a part of your game since like high school, or did it take getting to college to really fall in love with with tweaking those fine details of the game? Yeah, honestly, I think um, you know I had a unique high school career. I think you know when I transferred to my you know second school, um, you know my cousin was my head coach, and, and he coached in college, and same with my uncle. So. They kind of saw that you know I was becoming to fall in love with the game of football, so they kind of pushed me to, um, you know, kind of show me what it's like to you know work at that next level and and, and then at college, um, you know I had such great mentors there that you know taught me how to continue to work as a pro and, and take that um, you know attitude in college, just translate over here. One more that dance you did, you just had detailed orientation on that. How long did you practice that? Well, me and he. Uh, we did, we did a lot. Um, just you know, are you talking about this dance? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I like to like, I don't know, I like to dance a little bit. I'm not that good, but uh, he's kind of helped me out with that. So um, I took a whole train camp really. <laughs>